Let's go. Let's go, baby. How you doing, guys? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome back to Mars. It's a funny old place, this place, and oh, I've got to be honest. I gotta go back to my bed because, well, I need to like get stuff. So I've done a little bit of stuff since you've been here last. Like, and uh, in honesty, I've done a little bit of work as well. When we get back to safety, and I'm not gonna freeze my ass off, I'll go for it all with you. Give me a minute. Let me in. It's getting cold outside. I know I could be safe up until like minus twenty or something. I, I but I really like to be safe inside my little fart house. Anyways, so big things have happened. I did a little bit of exploring. So when I say I've done a little bit of exploring, we mod works on this game. So I turned on infinite oxygen and bits and pieces and went for a little drive because apparently I can. Then I went, I think it was this one I went to. Yeah, I went to that base up in there as well. Apparently I can only see for a certain like distance. So I'd like to figure out how to get that. A bigger radar screen would be fantastic right about now. Because obviously like when I came up here, this isn't the edge of the level. There's more stuff up here, so I'm gonna. I want to go up there. I want to go and have a look at stuff. And the only way I could do it was to basically use Wii Mod for now because I just wanted to run around and explore. I wanted to go and pick up loads of stuff as well. So this is an interesting base down here. So I'm gonna be looking at one a bit more later. That one I think I went to as well. This one we went to the other day. So I've done a bit of exploring. Also, I've done a bit of cutting. If you saw in my last video, we upgraded my grinder to level two, which means I can take things apart, which is a lot more handier when I'm dealing with stuff. So that's all good. Also, because we're now sort of like, I've advanced myself on a bit, I'm moving all my stuff up to my main base because I've been unlocking a few things as well. So we've got blueprints now. Still on the basic airlock stuff, electricity. So I've got the battery pack and then the battery pack upgrade. I'm pretty sure I need to put that in as well. So I need to upgrade my battery if I haven't done that already. I don't know if I have, I can't remember anymore, but I'll have a look at that when we get out in the morning. So that's all good resources i now have the well the o2 scroll apparently i haven't turned it on even though i'm pretty sure i have and the pump station so i've got to put the pump station in because that's going to get us uh, oxygen and water i've got all of that stuff that i need for i've got the small circuit boards blah 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 they are all in my sh storage in my actual base as well food wise we haven't got any food stuff living is that is the warehouse but i now have where is it there is the bed I now have the bed, which means I can move me into my warehouse, which means I don't have to use the capsule anymore. So these are all things that I definitely need. And we got a workshop printer as well. So this is good. It means that I've actually got stuff. And with the with the workshop printer inside the workshop, I get a fight I get electricity. I, I, I produce five electricity apparently, so I'm gonna be chucking that in there as well. And that's all good and so we've got the refrigerator so that's all right and i have got to upgrade some other bits and pieces so i have got the refrigerator is here and i'm not sure what that does and i've got a refrigerator there as well which i'm not sure what that's i don't know what i'm not sure why i have two of them anyways on that note we're all good so the how i upgraded all this stuff though was because i went for a wander i haven't upgraded this anymore because we haven't done much in the way of growing stuff I've been sort of more just exploring. So the bed came in, where's the bed part? I think it's in materials. You unlock the repair kit and there's the bed. That's what I need. I couldn't find it even though I'm, it's right in front of me. I wasn't looking at what it actually unlocks. So the bed comes in the repair kit, so that's fine. So my next extension, obviously I want the wall extension. We're gonna do tanks and bits and pieces. So we're, I'm gonna unlock all of this. It's just gonna take time. And then when it comes to mechanic stuff, we're next thing I can actually unlock is night vision. And then we're gonna scrub into the detector level three. And then I've got the jet of the grinder level two as well. So we upgraded that. Now I've got the jackhammer level three as well. And I found all of these things by just exploring all the other bases. That's all I've done. All, all that I spent a good couple of hours just bombing around the landscape. So with all that in mind. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip through this night because I don't know what's going to happen. And then I'm going to go over to my base and I'm going to basically chuck it all together. So I'm going to put in my bed. I'm going to put in my 3D printer and then we've got everything on deck and I don't have to do much else. 
then I'm going to show you my power setup because people are obviously because these videos are being recorded. I think I'm about a week in front of you guys. So I get a lot of tips going, hey, you should try this. You should try doing this. It's like, I'm already doing this. Oh, yeah, you guys don't know because, of, uh, yeah. So I'm a little bit further in my ahead than what the conversations that I'm having in that video are. So that's that's a big downside. So if I just sleep through until I'm going to sleep through until nine and then we'll go from there. And basically, I'm going to show you my power upgrade. I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Basically, just going to go through the joys of showing you where I'm at. And that's all we're going to do. So before I pop my head, let me just I need to save the game anyway. All right. Stick on my helmet. Oh, yeah. Right. And we're going to go outside. All good. So yeah, I'm gonna, I want to take that base apart now because obviously I need to. That would be awesome. But I want to show you what I've been doing. I want to show you how I've put everything together because I do speak to a couple of people who are like, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? It's like, it's quite hard to explain because you don't get a lot of text uh, text sections. Try not to make that sound dirty. There we go. Okay, so I'm still going to, I don't know why I've got this plugged in, but I've got it plugged in. Who cares? Right. So what I've got is I've got my six solar panels going into one transistor block because when you upgrade the transistor block you upgrade the modules that are connecting to it which is amazing so if i want more solar panels attached to this i literally just keep going and it's all good now i have upgraded the power outage for my battery and the power is basically flowing into here now i've got more than enough space filled up we're 450 kilowatts in and i'm only putting in like 26 kilowatts right now and that's fine so what I need to do is I need to start like looking of how much I'm actually using. And that's where we're going to start messing around with. So if I look at my map, zoom into my workshop, click on the workshop and then click power. Building is minus 7.77. Structure is 2.77. So that's nine, like 10-ish. So I'm outputting around tw like 20. I'm, I'm putting 26 into this and I'm only using like half, not even that. So I'm all right. That should be okay. Okay, so I'm going to put my bed in. This is what I want. I oh, know, we can't put my bed in because I need the stuff out of the thingy. Right, so what do you need? I can't remember what it needs. So what I did do is I've been piling up all my stuff from my exploration into here. And I, as I said, I went for a little bit of a wander. I've done a, I've done some mega exploring. I even found a crash ship. like, And that's the ship that you see right at the beginning of this game that just crashes into, uh, well, that blows up. So that was fun. So when I found that, I was like, oh, cool. And then that needs its own power source to open the door. So I'm going to be going, there we go. I can now sleep here. So I don't have to go back outside anymore. And in order for me to produce oxygen, I need to produce more potatoes. These have to be plants. So I have to have plants so I can grow more potatoes so I can get more oxygen in here. But I do need to start building like workshop tables and bits and pieces as well. Let's do that now. So I need to build the 3D printer and that's going to go right there. And the reason why I need to build this is because as soon as this is built, I never have to leave this place to do much in the way of like building stuff. It's all done on site. And there we go. Excellent. Downside is I have to go and get all my stuff out of my other inventory. But apart from that, we're OK. Right. That's fine and that's fine. I am. Is the workshop produced? No, the, my, my O2 is not quite good right now. Anyways, so I need to go and get my stuff out of my little workshop. I'm going to break down the solar panel as well that's out here. I'm going to bring my ATV closer to my base and then I'm good. Because if I do that, it just means that everything is up there. So I'm all right. Let me just get my stuff out of here first. Because this is where we've got all our, uh, all our elements. So I'm going to stick these in my inventory. I'm going to stick these in my thingy when we get there. Now the downside is I've got loads and loads and loads and loads of um, first aid kits, and the reason why I have so many first aid kits is because I needed to. I, when I was like messing around, I needed experience. So the best way that I could do it was to literally make first aid kits, and I just earned my first experience point. That's like early days. Okay, knock out the solar panel. Apparently, that was a bad idea. I electrocuted myself that was fun okay maybe unplug it from my atv next time that might be a good point yep so that's what happens when you put your a drill or well, your grinder into a, a solar panel that's charging your atv maybe i won't try that again then okay so before i go there i'm gonna do all this now i'm gonna take these with me so I've ju i'm just gonna have to go and rebuild my bed Oh, I need my first aid kits as well, don't I? So we can only take three of these. Well, actually, no, I could take all four and get them out of here. And then we just put them into my other storage at the other end. That's all good. Right, let's unplug this first. I think, 
that's a really good idea yay and there we go right come on now atv i know you're a little bit low on battery right now but we're gonna go and charge up at the other one it is fine right, let's plug you in there and we're all good excellent okay so let me just go and rebuild my bed and rebuild all the stuff that i just did because we just boned up i think that's enough right bed blueprints main hub bed Build bed. Building bed. Again. And we need my desk. My work, well, my workshop printer. So we need uh, that one. And then we need to build this as well. And then I need to look at how much power I'm putting out. And then we can use this as well. Excellent. Right. Next, we need to pull up my inventory. Put this in here. Resource inventory. Sticking this all in. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's getting a bit windy out there as well. Okay. So there's my bed. There's my, there's my 3D printer. And now... I'm hoping my power outage for this building is still not massively horrible. Apparently it's alright. I'm not sure how you actually find... How do you find out like the actual outage for the building? Because that would be... like I, I probably need to know that. The structure is at 2.23, but it's minus 2.77. So... Oh, that's the wrong end. I have to go this way. I think I might have to up its outage. So that would be okay. So if I put this up to 30... Right, now if we pull up my map, click on the building, primary is still at minus two point. I don't know what it is, this is like weirdly out, so strange, okay. Anyways, so that's all good and that's all good and that's all good. So we should, all of these should be popping out to like max. Set one, set two, I'm not even on set three yet, so we, we're okay right now. So that's six, 12, 24, 36, that's fine. Excellent. I mean, my next upgrade then is just going to be bigger solar panels, really, and just sort of see if we can keep things rolling. Let me just go and fill up my water bottle. Well, me, my water, and we should be okay. Excellent. All right. So, next on the big sort of agenda -y thing that I need to do is to just basically expand and plant more stuff and do more stuff. Oh, no, I need to build a pump thingy. That The big thing, the, the other big thing I need to build. I'll figure it out in a minute. This thing, the, the that's the battery upgrade, that's that. Transistor, transistor. It's not that one then, is it? It's resources. This, I need small circuit boards. I have small circuit boards. Like I said, I did a bit of exploring with the mod on and I was able to get out a bit further. I had a look around. I'm going to be honest, like looking around without having to look, keep checking your oxygen and everything else, it's it's like a breath of fresh air it really is it's uh, it's just nice to be able to walk around and have a look at stuff and instead of like oh i need to do this quick i need to do this i need to do this i need to... and then by the time you've done it all you're sitting there just going but i uh, and then you sort of like knackered yourself over okay so we need to build the pump and the pump station i don't even know what this is for why am i doing why have i got this so that would be good if I had the ability to make my own oxygen. So for now, I'm going to scrap it. I'll work it out eventually. Done. Right. Is there anything else that I need? Like, you know, I need air, but I can't make air. I've got to go and check my pump, uh, my CO2 scrubber as well, because one comment that I did see, like I said, I played this about a week in advance of the comments. So let me just go and check my CO2 scrubber and see if it's actually outputting. So I'm just going to grow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grow three for now and see what it needs for like outage. So we just need 0 0.70, and we need 0 0.3, we should be all right. Yes, the plants are withering because I haven't shut the door. They should be okay now. And this, even though it's here and it's working, it is producing 0 0.26 oxygen, which is good. This thing is it's actually producing oxygen, so that's all right. That's fine. I've still got one more space there as well for stuff. And now, really, it's just all about what can I build and what can I use and what can I do. And that's sort of where I'm at. I'm, I'm a little bit stuck for I'm not sure anymore because I'm not sure why I need certain things or I've, or I've produced something I shouldn't have produced to start with, that sort of thing. And it's like, okay, I need to do this, but I don't need to do this. I need to do that. And it's like, right, corridors. I haven't got corridors yet garage apparently that's a refrigerator i do need to be able to make my own food at some point the downside to that is that that's further down the root of the tree now as i'm going to be making plants i will be able to do these as well so food processing is something i need to go into slower withering would be pretty cool small plant crate is all right so I will be getting these a going as well. I'm only going to be growing three at a time just to keep things rolling. I just need to just make things and just keep going with it. But apart from that, we're all good. At least I've got my bed in here. I've got my water. I've got my 3D printer up here. I've got everything I need all under one roof. It's like Toys R Us, but for adults. And if you live on Mars, you know, it's amazing. 
but we've got to now work on it more. So what I'm going to be doing from where I am now is looking into where I'm going next. And like I said, I'd love to be able to expand out the map and sort of like go from there. I think I need to be able to build the, the radar stuff, which is further tech and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go further afield. I'm going to go off, play on my own for a bit, stick on Wii Mod, and I'm going to go for a bike ride. I'm going to go down to this base. I'm going to go down to all of here. I'm just going to go and see what all this stuff is down here. And the reason why is because at the end of the day, I'd rather just do it and be able to look around and see what else is around here. So that's what I'm going to do. I know people have a go at like some streamers and bits of pieces and YouTubers for, well, you shouldn't be using mods, you should be doing this. I tend not to use mods when it comes to doing stuff. But when it comes to exploring, this game is all about like exploring like massive areas of space. And I'm like, I need to be able to do those things first. I need to be able to go out and explore. And if I can't go out and explore, then what do I, what else can I really do? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off and explore. And then when it comes to doing anything in the game, I'll, rec I'll be covering this in my videos. First off, I need to get my planting tool out of here. I need to put my detector up here. And then I can put more stuff... I need to put more of these first aid kits into storage, preferably. So I'm going to take, if I take, I need something that's going to, if I take my solar cells with me, because my solar cells, there's not a lot of them, it's all good. I think these stack up quite nicely, but I don't know how much they stack up to. So that's going to be fun to find out. I did find some organic waste, so it can be turned into fertilizer. So I do have the start of building another base, which is quite nice. And we'll go from there but guys i want to say thank you very much for coming by this has been hybrid still if you have enjoyed this video hit that like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates and uh, i'm going to be going from there but yeah i need to go off and do some exploring i need to go off and find some more stuff i need to find a way of making bigger stuff and i guarantee a lot of the stuff i need is in my tech tree that i'm going to have to start really slashing into so I've got suit energy, I've got all this stuff up here, the cut the science bench. All of this needs to be upgraded. And so that's where I need to go, and that's what I need to do. All of this needs needs upgrading as well. Living capsules, and need um, whatever normal is. So yeah, you can see where I sort of need to go and what I need to do. I just need to do it now. And the downside to doing it is it's going to take time. And I know that if I just faff around more and more, people are going to get a bit pissed off with it. So thank you very much for kicking by this Moon Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I will be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, thank you very much for kicking by. I want to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do, and watch the video that comes up on the screen right now. Bye-bye for now.